everyone. We've been using the internet quite a bit, and it's important to understand that anyone can put information on the internet. We must take time to figure out if a website is credible. Credibility is figuring out if the information on the website can be trusted or if it's reliable to be used. In this video, we will learn how to evaluate the credibility of a website with three easy questions. One, what is the website's primary purpose? Two, who is the website's author? And three, when was the website last updated? The answer to these questions may be hard to find, but there are some good ways to start your search. First, we want to figure out the website's primary purpose. This is the mission or goal of a website. One clue in figuring out the site's purpose is by looking at the top level domain name. The top level domain name is a two or three letter code found at the end of the URL. It's kind of like a name tag to the website. For example, .com is usually commercial sites. This means that the site may be trying to sell you something or could be a private company. Sites that end with .edu are educational sites. Usually they're associated with a college or a university. Other sites may end with .org. These sites are sometimes nonprofits or organizations trying to raise awareness or funds for a cause. Websites like the Occupational Outlook Handbook or .gov or government sites. These are usually good reference sources. A reference source provides balanced and factual information. Another good place to find more on a website's purpose is in the About section. You can usually find a tab or link to this section at the top or bottom of a homepage. An About link is at the top of a web page. This section can help us find out why the website was created and what it is used for. You should always take time to read through this information to find out the website's primary purpose. Next, we want to find out the website's author. The author can be one person or a group. The author creates and updates the website's content. Usually, you can find the author's information on the bottom of the homepage. Here, we see the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics is the author. We should also be able to contact the author if we need to ask a question or get more information. This information is sometimes in an about or contact section as well. For websites like Wikipedia, the author can't usually be found, and it should not be used as a standalone source. Anyone can put information on that, that may or may not be credible on that site. You need to have other sources with a credible author and citations. Finally, we want to find out when the website was last updated. This helps us make sure the information is up to date. An outdated website may contain information that is old and incorrect. This date is usually found near the bottom of a homepage. On the OOH website, we find a published date. Some websites may use a copyright date to tell you how recently it's been updated. You should try to use the most up-to-date websites. These are usually better sources of information. You should be careful about using a website as a source for your research if you cannot answer our three assessment questions. One, what is the website's primary purpose? Two, who is the author? And three, when was the website last updated? If you can answer those questions, then you can be more confident in the sources, and you can be on your way to becoming a great researcher.